version 0.4 is out. And uh, for native English speakers, it's probably not the most exciting thing. But for the rest of the world, actually, it's pretty exciting. They've uh, The devs have added the ability to add translations now. So like German, Russian, French. I think those are all in the workshop right now. Pretty awesome stuff. Gotta like that sort of thing. Uh, I'm just kind of checking out the stores here because every once in a while you just have to like stop down and take a look and go, why are you standing around there, buddy? Uh, and why are you standing around? Uh, there's there's an empty table over here. Oh, you, you belong to the other store. Where do you work? I'm just curious. Uh, you're the restaurant. Okay, got it. So... Ah, that's one of my favorite things with this update. If you're in manage mode and you hit escape, it now goes to select instead of bringing up the, the menu. Ah, thank you. It's the little things like that that make me so happy and make me say, I love this dev team. <laughs> no, no joke. I mean, it just these little quality of life things that are just uh, spectacular because they, they truly make a difference. Holy crap. Um, why is everyone lining up in this store? Is it because dishes, cookware, bed sheets, diapers, toilet paper, and everything else are over here? I'm pretty sure we have that covered in the grocery store. Why aren't you going over here for some of this stuff? Maybe I didn't. Diapers, shaving cream, tooth care. So I guess a bunch of things I haven't. Detergents, light bulbs, and electricity. We got that covered. Bed sheets, cookware, and dishes. And yet... You're all standing in line over here. I'd love to kind of know what they're buying. I mean, I guess I can try and figure it out from the look here. You're buying water, I think. And then you're buying, I don't know, is that juice? Soda. You're buying soda. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, I need more soda. I need soda to be available in more places. Oh, look at that. That vending machine has made four bucks. That's awesome. And that arcade cabinet has made squat, apparently. Uh, is anyone... You're using the ATM. That's awesome. Keep on shopping. Appreciate that. Uh, it looks like half of these arcade machines don't get used. And I hate to get rid of them because I spent a good two grand on them. Cat. 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 What are you doing? There you go. Appreciate that. So I don't want to dump them just yet. Cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going crazy on me here. You're about to slam into the microphone. I know you. Yes, hi, that's a microphone. I'm speaking into that. That's why I sound funny in my own ears, because you keep moving things around. Thank you. Uh, this store, whatever this one is, this gigantic store, I think this one probably needs... You're not store... Which one are you? Are you store five? You're store five. I think we need a new stock clerk in here. What do you think? Look at those shelves. Those are just wickedly empty. I mean, there's just nothing there. Um, hold on. L let me take a look here. Stock clerk. I already have four of them going, but I feel like they're not able to keep up with the shelves. Look at that. I mean, that that table of cell phones is empty. What, what are you buying? Did you find something? You're buying a camera? You're buying a camera, aren't you? You're buying a camera. All right. I want to hire one more stock clerk here. Um, Wow. Uh, I guess we'll hire a stock clerk. Who Who is a good stock clerk? You're not bad. You're pretty good. Ideally, I just want someone fast. Charlie Donovan, you win. Because you are the fastest of my options. So we'll have you come in at... Uh, what time does this store open? It opens at 10. I don't think you need to come in right away. We can have you come in at... And then I think we'll end up being okay. I'm going to cross my fingers on that one, that having another person there is going to help out. This store looks like it's doing okay, which kind of boggles my mind. I mean, there are a lot of lines. Like you, you should go there. Why did you go into that line? You should go into this line. There you go. See, these people are going into this line. Well, now, now this line's not as good. Never mind. <laughs> um... Wow, we need more restrooms? How can they all be full? What? Uh, they're not all full. I guess they're just not close enough. 
I mean, I have a couple over here. Maybe they're complaining about these ones over here are full. That's possible. There are, after all, only three stalls over here, which is kind of crazy when you look at this gigantic store. I mean, I guess I could just put a toilet over here or something. <laughs> ah, that'd be great. Now, what else are we complaining about? Store number one, I can't do anything about that right now. Uh, store number 13, uh, you're still a problem. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't do anything about these stores right now. I just... I just can't. I, I got nothing. Just keep complaining. It'll be fine. Oh, let's build a wall. We're gonna bring the wall up. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Counting spaces inside, not outside. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna say we need something like six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just making sure. Something like that. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I want this to be... Oh, man, I'm looking at this now. I'm just wondering. Okay, we'll do something like this. So we're going to do five there. And then I'm going to need to put in some objects. I don't know where they're going to go yet. So uh, never mind. I won't worry about that for the moment. Probably going to need some doors somewhere. So here, what's the cheapest door I can build? $200 staff door. So here, let's have you guys put in a staff door right there and one right there. And that'll make sense in just a moment because I'm still kind of figuring out how I want to lay this building out. For instance, I would like to do something like this. Here, let's go back to this one. Let me, let me leave walls for the moment. I think what I'd like to do is do something like this. One, two, three of those. And then we'll do a sink on this wall right here. Once that door is gone, of course. And then one, two, three. And then we can put a an object. We need a door. Put a door right there, regular door. That'll be just fine. Looks really weird that you have a sliding glass door into a bathroom. I guess I never really thought about it because looking at it like this one, well, I guess that one is. Whatever. It would be nice to have manual doors or some other door options, but seriously, that's like such a minor detail at this point. That's that's kind of one of those things you can worry about a little later on. Ideally, someone will come back and take care of that. So we're going to assign this as a restroom. So you are now a restroom number 17. We'll have someone build a sink in there a little later on. We're going to assign this as storage. So you are storage number 18, which means that we now need to assign this as a store. Uh, so let's drag all the way over and drag all the way over and drag all the way over. Look at that. Store number 19 comes to life. Now we need to start putting crap in the store. What do I have for money? 238 grand, and I still got 252 of that loan to repay. I'm curious. Maybe not. Can I take out a loan? Look at that. Wow. I could get a million dollars right now. have to pay 347 back. Uh, I don't know how well that would work out because that would be interesting. $13,000 daily debt. I'm easily making look at that. 35 grand a day. But a million actually doesn't get me that much and a million dollars would let me just a about double this? That's really not that much. I mean, that's like a building like this. Uh, that's... Well, maybe it's a little more than that. I don't remember what this one cost. I want to say this one was... 250, 300,000, something like that. So, maybe it'd be double this. So, maybe, maybe closer to something like this. Which, that'd be pretty good size. But, um... I don't know. I'm not sure it matters right now. Let us put in some cloth racks. Still think it should be clothing rack or clothes rack, but that would be my Americanism coming out on that, I suspect. 
Uh, let's just start lining crap up on on the wall. We're just going to do it. So I think what I'll do is something like that, and then I'll put a proper door in right there. That way we have some sort of, you know, kind of a rear entrance to the building. Nope, you don't go there. Nice try. I, I saw that. You're not going to get away with that sort of thing. Uh, tables. Kind of seems like maybe I should do tables in here. Maybe not. I'm tempted to put some kind of random stuff in here, but I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to try and stick with clothing primarily. I want a gigantic clothing store because uh, right now that clothing store is kind of it's kind of the the big money maker. So we'll do a bunch of these over here, and then let's see some shelves. These, of course, we can use for clothing as well. So let's go ahead and figure out right now where the checkout counters are going to go. So one. Let's see. Two, three, four. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, I can't see. I need you to put that away. That's kind of obnoxious because when it's rotated like this, you can't really see where that line is going. Do you know what I mean? Where the the Q line is going? I mean, obviously I can figure out where it's going, but that's that's kind of obnoxious. I guess I never realized that. Um, technically, I could put a bunch more in here. I think what I'll do for right now is I will leave that space open. Oh, cat. Stop slamming into things. Yes, I love you too. But that... That doesn't mean I want you to slam into the into the microphone. Let's put some shelves in. I'm going to go and put them... Maybe we'll put them over here. Uh, you know what? I don't like that spot. I do want to go right up on the wall there. I'm going to have to remove that door. Oh, maybe I don't want to go there. All right. This this is not working out how I, how I envisioned it. Cat, I see you. You're getting ready to move. And... You're gonna slam into things, and I, I don't I don't want you to do that. So can I do maybe like this? That's not necessarily going to give me any better use of space now, is it? Not really. But that kind of works because oh cat, hello. Guess technically I could but two right there, because if I'm remembering right, when I placed these guys, the line is going to be right there. So those are the standard direction. So then these ones should be up high. Oh, I think those are in the wrong spot. Nope, those are, yep, those are all in the wrong spot. I put them too close together. Those need to go away. And then I need, I knew I did something wrong with those. I wasn't quite sure what I did, though. Okay, hold on. Let me let me think about this for a moment. So right there, and then no, maybe those were right. No, because that's going to line up on this line. So, ah, uh, crud! I need to do it like that, and then they're correct. Yeah, I I knew I messed something up there. So we'll get rid of those. Have them remove these, replace those. I'll build some new ones over there. Just trying to maximize my space right there. This might end up working out okay, all things considered. Let me do some more shelves. Uh, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then... really thought I could do something on here aside from... Aside from jewelry. I don't want to do jewelry, so... I'm going to pass on that for the moment. Guess we can do some more clothing racks. There are a lot of different clothing options to choose from, so it'll it'll be okay to, you know, throw a bunch of these different things down. I'm kind of looking at this going, maybe I need to turn things now. I think I'll do that. So we'll go turn, 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 turn for every season, turn, turn, 
There is a reason to make everything fit. There you go. Perfect. Some of you are way too young to even know what I was just talking about. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I think these are lined up correctly now. So these are going to go right over here. And if I could place it down such that you could see where the line would go, I think you would see it extends just perfectly. And then these ones are going to go and line up right against that. So I think that looks pretty good. So these, where are these guys going to go? Right here, I think. Three, four. Because they should line up with that one. And then these should all line up on that side. Perfect. So basically, all of this space right here is for lines. It's for nothing else. Holy cow. Um, what are we going to put over here? Um, men's shoes. I think we'll do... Men's shoes. Let's take a look at our needs here and go to clothing. Clothing. We need more men's shoes. Yes, we do. I agree with you. So we'll do four racks of men's shoes, four shelves of men's shoes. And let's see, does that... I don't know if that actually counts until the store is open, so I'm going to say that doesn't count for the moment. Women's shoes. We're going to need some women's shoes. There was definitely more of a need for women's shoes. But I don't know if I want to go crazy on that. Let's start going back this way. Men are going to need some underwear. Men, change your dang underwear, all right? Just saying. Change that stuff. Go buy some new ones if you need to, all right? And then we'll do some more women's shoes. I'm waiting for the day when I can copy and paste. It's going to be absolutely marvelous. Let's do just a crap ton of t-shirts here. I'm not even really going to go take a look at what the need is. I'm just going to kind of do this on feel. And uh, everyone likes a good t-shirt. I mean, you know, t-shirt. I'm just saying. How many more shelves? How many more racks do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, hmm, 24, about 33-ish, something like that. I didn't actually count. So we'll do we'll do some more t-shirts. Why not? We'll do a crap ton of t-shirts. And then maybe what we'll do, since we don't have a big need for coats, we'll do four racks of coats. And then maybe over here we'll do a bunch of jackets. I want to say maybe coats to... No, all right, fine. Fine, I'll check. Uh, jackets, yeah. I was going to say, I thought jackets had a higher demand than coats did. So we'll do a bunch of jackets. So look at that. We got a bunch of jackets. Uh, you know what? Here, I'll even do two more for you. That's how nice I am. And then basically that leaves a row of pants, dresses, and shirts. And then we're going to split some of that. So we'll do a bunch of pants here. So pants, pants, pants. Got your pants on the rack. Not on the ground, all right? Pants on the rack. Not on the ground. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that many pants. Here, let's do a bunch of dresses. All right, all right, fine. I actually don't need as many dresses as I thought. All right, well, maybe I'll... I'm going to end up having too much, I think. It's all right. I'm not going to worry about it. Dresses. Shirts. I mean, really, it, there's going to be a need for this. It, it's not going to be a big deal. This store is going to make a ton of money. I'm, I'm not at all concerned about it not making back what I've invested. I mean... Seriously, it'll be fine. So what else do we have here? Shirts? Oh, uh, I guess I could do some more jackets. Here, I'll do some more jackets. No, wait a minute. What, were, what are you supposed to be? You're supposed to be shirts. Don't change on me now! Here, I'll do some more jackets. Some more jackets. And then we'll do some more coats. I'm going to have way too many coats. And jackets. And uh, I'm just going to deal with that. It, it's not the end of the world. Let's manage this store all the way down to number 19. We're going to have you start at, uh, let's do 10 a.m. We're going to have you open until 10 p.m. So 12 hours will be fine. We're going to hire some staff. 
Let's hire a crap load of cashiers. You're fast. You're fast and sociable. You're reasonably fast. You're very fast. You're awesome. And uh, you are kind of creepy looking. I might put you in the stock room. Nope, not who I thought it was. I'm going to put you in the stock room just because you're creepy and weird me out a little. Um, Monica, you're fine. We can hire you. Sure. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of stock clerks right now just to handle the opening, I think, if nothing else. So let's see. What time do we start this place? 10 o'clock. We'll have you start at 9. That's just fine. You can leave at 8. And then let's see. You can come in at whatever o'clock. 1 o'clock. I don't think that's right, but whatever. Oh, no, that's right. I, I figured that out. It finally dawned on me the last time. I remember that now. So we'll start off with three and three. We have a lot of room for growth here in terms of employees. So I'm hoping that this will be just fine. So there we go. This store is going to open tomorrow. It is not open today, of course. We'll start getting some deliveries. I need to put in some proper doors still, so I'll go ahead and start taking care of that. Curious where they're delivering to. They're not delivering over here. Did I did I not have that done? I could have sworn I had that removed. I guess I didn't. Uh, build. Build objects. Build a double door. Let's see. Let's put a double door. Can I? Oh, dang it. I guess I need to remove that one, too. Objects removal. Remove that one. And then come back and do some more stuff, like build some things. Objects. Double door. I guess we can put one... We'll put one right there and right about there, maybe? That looks nice and symmetrical. That'll be just fine. Eventually, this will be more parking or another building or something. So I'm just kind of planning for that. And then we're going to end up with a door back here. That's probably going to end up being the primary entrance. I mean, just kind of knowing how this is actually going to go. And then I'll put in a wall there because I do actually want to put in a double door over here too. Because we do have a lot of parking on this side. Oh, look at that. I'm checking out the bus stops now. Five people over there, three people over here, three people over here. So, okay, bus stop's doing okay. Two people. There are so many notifications down there, and I have managed to ignore every single one of them. And I feel pretty good about that. And that's where I'm going to leave it. So I'll catch you on the next one when we open store number 19 for business. It's going to be exciting. I'm hoping to make a crap ton of money. Catch you on that one, till then. Thanks for watching. See you later.